From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, listeners, and welcome to another Ropecast. Hello, Peter. Hello, Roger. Now, Peter, as you know, we both live in Germany, and uh, this year... The Germans seem to be doing a lot of electing, electing people to various parliaments. Yes, and even here in Zoland, yes. So I got to thinking, what about in the USA? I still don't really understand how Obama came to be the president. It all seems so complicated. Well, actually it is. There seem to be different systems in different states, and I, I'm totally confused. Okay, want to start off with the primaries? Yeah. Now, the primaries are elections in themselves in which the candidates of each party are chosen. So the primary elections, which are held all over the United States, determine which person will run for the Democrats and which person will run for the Republicans. Yeah. So that's why it's primary. That's primary first election. It's not the actual election. And even that is very, very complicated in a way because there are different primary systems. And it goes on over a period of months, doesn't it? They don't all vote at the same time. They have some, like, Super Tuesdays where about 10 states or something like that vote on the same day, but sometimes you have one primary on one day, and it goes on for months. And what's interesting, in order to vote, first of all, in the United States, you have to register. Yeah. That means you have to go somewhere and say, I want to vote. Yeah. You are not automatically registered as in European countries very often. And what's even more interesting, when you register, you very often declare a so-called affiliation with a party. That means you say, when you register, you're basically in favor of, let's say, the Republicans. And that is taken down in the register. So they will know, for example, that Roger Charlton... Well, I, I'd assume you'd probably be more of a Democrat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Charlton usually votes Democratic. Now, when it comes to the primaries, in very many states, you, for example, as a Democrat, would only be allowed to participate in the Democratic primaries. You would not be allowed, of course, then, to say who would become the candidate for the Republicans. But this means it's not an entirely secret ballot. In a way, it isn't. It's kind of weird. I mean, there is a register out there somewhere where it says that, I don't know, Peter is a Republican, which I'm not, folks. (laughs) Peter is a Republican, and Roger is a Democrat, and Shirley is, uh, again, a Democrat. Sometimes you can refuse to declare an affiliation, but then in some states you're not allowed in the primaries. In other states, then, also, you are not forced to declare this affiliation in order to vote in either the Republican or the Democratic primary. Uh, One more thing, if you declare yourself, let's say, a Republican, in the actual election, in the real election, after the candidates are chosen, you are not forced to vote Republican. You can choose whoever you like, even if you declared yourself a Republican. But if I've understood things correctly, the American populists don't actually elect the president. That is, In the final yeah, election yeah. now. Um, well, they do, but not directly. Yeah. What they do is state by state, they vote for either of the two candidates. Yeah. It could be three or four, but it usually never is. I mean, there were three candidates at one time. But you have usually two candidates who stand a chance of becoming president. Yeah and they are chosen state by state. And each state has a number of so-called electors, those are actual persons, in the electoral college. Mm. The electoral college is a body of people who elect the president. And the number of electors that your state has is determined by the population of the state. It's it's complicated, I know. (laughs) I mean, I can see this is a very sensible system at a time when the United States came into existence. There were no telecommunications. That's where it comes from. People had to travel, and travel took time. That's that's where it comes from. Why in the 21st century? It doesn't really make sense. (laughs) It does not make sense at all. But it just comes from it, because that's what happened. At the time, the different states chose one candidate. Then... 
the electors of that state were told to vote for that candidate. Yeah. And they traveled to first Philadelphia and then later on to Washington, the capital, and said, okay, we will vote for that president. Yeah. And it's the majority of that electoral college that determines the actual president. Mm. So it's very complicated. People vote in one state. It's a winner-takes-it-all system. Yeah. The electors go to Washington or nowadays send their votes to Washington and elect the president in this body, which is like a, I don't know, little parliament that only convenes in order to elect the president. Yeah. It's popular vote, but it's not direct popular vote in the strict sense of it. Strangely enough, um, in the case of the British Prime Minister, it is similar in that is it? the British people don't actually choose a Prime Minister. Uh, they don't? No. They vote for a party, Yeah. and whichever party is strongest in the House of Commons, the leader of that party becomes Prime Minister. Ah. But it is the party that has chosen its leader, and then people vote for the party. Okay, that's a little bit like 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 Germany. And how does the the parliamentary election work? That's quite a long story as well. So maybe we should hold that over for a different podcast. Okay, let's cap it off here. Fine. Bye, dear listeners. Listen for the next podcast in which we'll deal with parliamentary elections in Great Britain. Right. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast. Brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.